Let's add some SCORM to your Moodle. SCORM naturally stands for Shareable Content Object Reference Model. It's a web compliant format for sharing and exchanging learning content via the web. All right, so this is through the eyes of an admin or a course creator. We're going to add a new course. Give it a name and a short name. Summary is not mandatory. We will toggle the course, the default course format to SCORM in this case. Uh, like so. We'll leave the other default settings and we won't mind the role assignment um, at the moment. Okay, so we will simply give our learning object a name. A summary would go there. Now we browse for the package file. This is no doubt a zip file that contains HTML, Flash, XML and other associated files. It's probably living somewhere on your computer. So you browse for it, upload it, and it's been uploaded successfully. The action then is to choose it. And we can come down here and perhaps um, change a few of these default settings. It's up to yourself on your grading method and the number of attempts, attempts you wish to uh, allow. In terms of the size of the object, I'd recommend 100% width and perhaps 1,000 pixels high, again, depending on how large you, your object is and how it best displays. I'd open it in a new window, allow it to be resized and scrolled. Naturally, your users will have to allow pop-up blocker on their web browser if this is going to function as it should. Let's disable preview mode and also the table of contents. So if we save and return to the course, that should be good to go. We can enter that, it pops up in a separate window, and then it should simply load uh, for the viewing pleasure of your audience. So that is all good. Naturally, at a later stage, you might come back and wish to edit the object. So you come into the course, turn editing on, and you could um, go where there's a the little editing icon here, rename the object, change the summary, or naturally if you revise or update the, uh, the SCORM, you'll want to uh, browse for it and upload it. Uh, I'd recommend you call it something different from the original uploaded file package. So that's option one. If we return home, another way to go about it is you might have a course prepared already, like so. Okay, we've come in here with editing on, and this may well be through the eyes of an editing teacher in this case. It might not be the admin or a course creator. Um, we've got some other learning objects in the course already. Forums, chats, wikis, assignments, and so forth. Um, so the aim might in fact be to just add another activity so your course is a little richer than it would be otherwise. Um, so we add a SCORM slash AICC. Again, we can give it a summary and we browse for that package file. Upload it. And it's been selected again. Uh, I'll just quickly toggle those settings as we had them before. And we should just about be good to go. In this case, the course is no longer a one trick pony because you've got some other rich learning objects and uh, material in the course. So it's a far more richer learning experience than simply one SCORM object. It really does depend on what you're looking to achieve, however. Okay. And naturally, with that learning object, it pushes data to the, uh, the, the inbuilt gradebook within Moodle so you can monitor, assess, track, and report on your learners uh, in some very nice ways.